right, this is my 91 FZR 600. Um, I don't really ride it around that much anymore. It, I, just, I got it. I'm kind of worried about my tires. It sat for four years before I got it, and uh, I, uh, I've been running. I've been, I've had it for three, so um, yeah. I, I kind of I don't know. I have a YZF 600 tire over there. Uh, 160, 17. Where do you go? 160, 65. 16060 uh, 17 I've got to get up I think somebody said a GS the GSX the old GSX's um, before they made the Jixers the GSXR's I think you can you can get the rim from that the same company that made uh, the rim for this bike also made the one for that bike so you can put a 17 inch tire on it and, and that tire over there will actually fit Supposedly, it's what I heard. But you can see, I uh, since my last video, <laughs> two years ago, I uh, painted the frame flat black, pulled the engine out um, when I painted the frame, got the painted the the tank glossy black. I've got a, I painted the tail glossy black too, but it didn't really take. Um, all my accessories things are yellow, so I'm gonna actually get a tank one of those. Uh, tank pad protector things and put it there see what I did in my triple tree I actually cut that out of plastic the FZR logo and put a little yellow dot where they have the red dot in the FZR logo so just did that and actually JB welded it to the to the top of the triple tree YZF 600 um, switches and my front end is kind of experimental I'm probably gonna sell the trapezoid style headlock with the bracket um, I don't really like it that much. It's kind of, I don't know. Uh, I wish I had the full fairing for the front because I liked the way it looked before, but and that was that was kind of crushed from all that roofing material that I mentioned in the uh, the other video um, that I made. Uh, well, I think the last one like two years ago. So for now, I've just kind of been riding this guy around. It's my other bike, 94 CBR 600, but. But yeah, um, if you're watching this video, you haven't watched my other video. Uh, the tail is from uh, 03 to 05 Yamaha R6. LED turn signals are off of eBay. I got another set. The other ones were messed up that I had before like when the, all the roofing material fell on it. I got a little crack there. I gotta, gotta fix that. Um, seats line up, match up with this tank. This tank from a 99 to 02 Yamaha R6. Um, and actually my handlebars, I, I slipped the handlebars in. These are, this is a full YZF 600 handlebar. And that's a full YZF 600 handlebar with a, right now just temporarily I've got the start switch on. I'm going to put my other YZF 600 switch on. I guess I've made, I have it set up for the YZF. 600 switches but see I've got the different reservoir the plastic style one um, but yeah I, I really want to get tires for this thing whenever I have the money and the, the time I guess so and you know paint that last little engine cover that I have left to paint all the other ones are painted uh, I've got a YZF 600 uh, shift cover shift linkage cover and over here I've got a YZF 600 uh, peanut, also known as a stator cover, and you see YZF 600 radiator, custom brackets, things that are just kind of bent out of some regular, you know, little cheap steel. Um, yeah, I mean, this is that way. I have the radiator cap here. The problem I had before was the radiator cap was under here, and when I put the R6 tank on, it bumped the radiator cap and the thermostat assembly. So my thermostat housing is actually here now. Um, yeah, so I, I grinded all of that off the frame there. So, the only thing I have left to do, I want to get a little round headlight, a little circular headlight, but I've got to figure out what to do with my gauges if I'm going to do that. Um, just get a little round headlight and get some, some kind of a, I don't know, some used brackets from some kind of a cruiser that had a, 
you know, had the round headlight and just used the brackets to clip onto the uh, to the upper portion of the forks. So do something like that, and then I'll just figure out what I'm going to do with my turn signals. These are stock YZF 600 turn signals. Um, I have YZF 600 carburetors for it, but right now I'm running my stock carburetors. So I'm pretty sure I got to charge up the battery again. And but yeah, that's it. Kind of dirty. I kind of tried to wipe it off, but I don't know. Well, you can only wipe off so much. I do. I do want to repaint the tail. So repaint the tail. Put the new tire on. Uh, on the new on the the GSX rim, if I could find that and figure out how to do the conversion, I haven't heard much about it. Um, do that, get the round headlight, clamp it onto the forks. Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's pretty much it. So I have to figure out what to do with my gauges. I'd like to get the little R6 gauges if I'm going to switch them out. So this has 50,000 miles, 40,000 miles. It says 40,000 miles. Um, if I can. Uh, If I can get some used gauges from an R6, I'll just I'll just slap them on there. Gauges with 40,000 miles are probably going to be pretty cheap on eBay, so that's a thought. So maybe, but but that's it for now. This is I really like this bike, even though I've got my CBR. I don't really want to sell this one just because I put so much work into it and making it look like this. So anyway, but this is my bike. It's so the last little walk around.